everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you an idea that I didn't actually have this idea, my husband did, of displaying my nail art. I'll just put the camera straight a bit there. Right, everyone's always asking, and I always say this question a lot of times on the Facebook pages, of how do you start your nail art? Now, I had mine on big picture frames, like I left the glass in and I got blue tack and I stuck them, I just grabbed one of my cards. Um, like these are what I start mine. I got these cards, still got blue tack on the back of this one. <clears throat> I got these cards off eBay and I think they're about six pound and I can't remember if you get 50 or 100, but, um, and that's a UK seller. And all I do is I stick mine on with some blue tack and then I used to stick them on the back like that and then stick them on the glass and I had them all in a row. But because now I've moved all my nail things, like everything into the living room, I don't really want to be putting big pictures of nail things on the wall because I still want this to be my living room, but with me nail things in here. <clears throat> Little croaky vice today, sorry. And I thought, well, I said to Chrissy, I said, what am I going to do with all my nail art? So, I didn't want to just, I can hear someone at the phone. I'm right near the window. Um, I said, what am I supposed to do with all my nail art? I didn't want to just, like, chuck it all in a box. And, like I said, I didn't really want it out on display. And there's no way for it to go anywhere. I've got no free wall space. That's why I don't have no racks on my walls. And I looked on eBay, Amazon and AliExpress. You know, for the white trays where you get like these type of cards, I think it has like a little ridge on so you can flick through. And they were like 20 or, 20 or 30 pounds and I thought, I'm not paying that just to stick these in. I did have a tray before from Home Bargains where I had them like slotted in, but you couldn't put the lid down. So you couldn't put so many in. And Chrissy had a brainwave when he said, what about my watch display cases? Now, he has three of them. I'm just, and I'll show you what they are. He had these on display on the shelf in the bedroom because <clears throat> he's a proper big watch fanatic. Are they these? Now, this one holds 12, and you can see it's about the size of an A4 sheet of paper. I haven't got an A4 sheet of paper beside me, so I can't compare it. No, I haven't. So, but, but it's about the size of an A4 sheet of paper. So just think 12 watches would fit in there. And it opens up, like with a catch. And you've got your glass lid. And I thought, yeah, because they're quite deep. And he's got three of these. So he said, what about them? He went, I'll just take my watches out. He went, and just use them. So... I've just had a look, one, two, three, four, five. So this is a 12 one. This one is a smaller one, which is a 10 one. But you can get all different sizes and I was gonna nab all three of them off him. So I've literally got my frames downstairs. Well, Chrissy brought them down for me and I've pulled all my nail art off and I've popped them in one of the cases. And yeah, the fit fit brilliantly and you can lock it as well and that's what I've done so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you like a more in-depth look at these like I said this is the 12 one and then I'll put these in here and because these watches are all nice and neat and the other two I mean that I had like a big massive frame that was half filled and a smaller frame and they've all fitted into there and there's still lots of space left and I've worked out you can get about five, that's with the tips on, in each compartment. So, I mean, it's going to hold five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. That's, that's 60 of those cards with tips on there, it's going to hold. Now, I put them in there and it looks amazing. I mean, if I wanted to, I could bling it up, but it looks fine the way it is. And I can just put it on my shelf. But now I've done that and there, Chrissy's tied it all out. He went, you know, I've moved the two boxes because my, my watches look good in them. So he said, have a look on Amazon. So I've just had a note on Amazon there. And like I said, you can get a six box, a 10 box, a 12 box. And I've just looked, you can get a 24 as well, which will be perfect for me. So I thought, right, I'll have a look on eBay because they're about 20 pounds on Amazon 
between 15 and 20 pounds so i've just looked on and i think it's for 12 a 10 or a 12 i can't remember look on amazon and just type in watch display cases if you want to see how much the 12 ones are just type 12 next to it if you want to see the 10 or the 6 or the 24 just type that next to it so i've just been on ebay there you can get aluminium ones as well so i've just been on ebay then i don't know and i've seen a 24 one for 16.99 so it's going to be double the size of that which is going to be bang on it lasts me for ages i'm not having to buy more and stack them up so i thought yeah i'm going to order myself a 24 one so chrissy's just nipped out so i'm going to ask him if he wants this one back and i'll order the 24 one but i'll leave these in here until it comes so i'm going to flip you around and i'm going to show you like the depth and everything of these boxes and it's a brilliant idea and they're so much cheaper than buying them plastic ones and it's, it's a glass lid and it's like a leather okay so i'll just flip you around right guys yeah these are the boxes and like i said they've got they've got a catch on like that and open them up it's got like a piece of string on to keep it there but look how good they are like how much of those i can fit in so yeah you can fit five in so if you want to colour coordinate it, like put all the like, not pink ones in there, nail art there, it, like it doesn't really matter. And they're easy enough. They're easy enough to go in and out. Look at that. But like, look at those. Like I normally, and I haven't done it for ages and I need to start, I normally write on the back of the products that I've used. So if someone likes them, that design, and they go, oh, I like that, what did you use, that underscore. And they're there. And then they just go straight into this case. So I thought it was a brilliant idea. You can see, like, how deep they are. See, how we figured it out was, he said, oh, do you think they'll fit now? And well, if you've got a credit card, I'll test it out. Because these are credit card size cards. And there, you've got, like, a nice deep well. And even though they're sticking up here, you've got, like, the lid. Let's pop these back into there. You've got the lid, which stops it. Look at that. And I don't know about you, but I think these look brilliant. Like, it would be nice and white. I'm sure you can get them in white, but I think they cost a hell of a lot more. I mean, the ones I've seen in white are about £100. But it's got, like, a leather look, and it's all the way around. And like I say, I've literally just took this out of the, the other room because, like I say, we're doing the barn, it's a bit dusty, so it does need a wipe over. And that's like the bottom of it. But look, they ain't going nowhere. And like I said, you can get five in each space. So, for the 24 ones, I'm not sure, I can't remember if it extends that way and that way. Or... I would imagine, I think it's 6, 12, I think it goes long ways like that. But I'm not bothered because I think it would be better. If you want them smaller like this because it's easy to handle or easy to show your client, like, that's fine. But, uh, like, I'm definitely, it's mainly for display purposes, so I'm definitely, definitely going to order myself the 24 one. And I've still got loads of space in these. I'll just straighten that one off. I, I've got loads of space left in this. And if I get the 24 one, it means I'm going to have what space I've got here left in the 24 plus these. And it's going to last me like for ages. And then when it comes, I'll give Chrissy this one back. But yeah, it's all over it. It's got like cream. It's like a cream suede. It locks. Well, not locks, but it fastens so it doesn't open. And you've got a glass lid. And, and you can see inside. Which is an absolute bonus and you can see, I'm telling you, so you can see, it's not even touching the glass. You've got about that much space between the top of the card and the glass. So guys, this is just a cheaper alternative. I don't think anybody's used anything like this to store the nail art. You know me, I'm all about saving money. If I've got something that I can use, like for nail things, I'll use it. And I think it's an absolute brilliant idea. I think it looks classy. If you don't like the black, like I said, you can put diamantes on. There, there is aluminium ones. I haven't seen them in the 24. I've only seen them in the 16. And I think they're about £17 for a 12 
one on the aluminium but i don't know if it's going to go rusty i don't know if you get something on it it's gonna like you might have fingerprints or anything on it i don't know but i'm quite happy getting one of these like leather black ones and like i said if i wanted to in time i might just put some diamantes on it and bling it up but for now like i said i'm just gonna order the other one. Oh, and the other one that was 16.99 for the 24 i'm sure it's a uk seller i think most of them are uk sellers as well so yeah, if you're thinking about a nail display case and you don't want to spend a fortune or maybe your husband's got one of these lying about that he's not using or it's collecting dust, nick it, put your stuff in it, use it and yeah, there you go guys. When I put these in here this morning I was like, right, I need to do a video on that because I think it's a really, really good idea. But yeah, these cards you get off Amazon. Um, not, sorry, not Amazon, eBay. You can get them on Amazon, but they'll probably cost you more. It's all they are, the plastic. Use some blue tech on them. Like I said, I'll write on the back of what products I've used. Like when I've done these ones from the nail team before the cost that I did, I just put the nail team, inks online cost, and I put the date when I've done them. So, yeah, guys, there's... um. See, so look, I'm finding blue tech on the back but yeah how good is that how brilliant are those so that's going to be my way of storing my nail art so let me know you store yours and let me know if you think this is a good idea and if you want any links if you can't find any links let me know i'll have a search and i'll pop some in the description box or in the comments later so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye